Welcome back everybody to Sinking Simulator 2. I'm IGP and today I'm going to show you guys how to open the game, oddly enough, how to spawn ships, and also how to create your own custom ships so you can be all creative in this neat little sandbox game. Now this isn't going to be a continuation from the previous video, there's not enough content in this game to make a series for YouTube. This is just a video answering all the questions that I've gotten on the last video. In fact, majority of the comments were, how do I open the game? It crashes. How do I spawn ships? Or how do I create custom ships? I'm going to try to answer all of your questions, my good friends, in this video. So bear with me. It may not be that long and it's probably not going to be all that fun. It's really just an informative video, but I hope you enjoy it regardless. So first things first, let's go ahead and talk about opening up Sinking Simulator 2. One of the biggest problems is a lot of you guys don't actually have Java installed on your computer. So if you don't, go ahead and search on Google for Java and download the latest version. But you want to have that installed so that way you can open the file. Because when you download it, you're going to see a .jar file and you have to open that with Java. Now if it doesn't already do so, you want to go ahead and set .jar files to open automatically with with Java. This typically happens when you install it, but just in case, right click on the .jar file, select open with, and then find the program Java, and that will set it as the default. And there you go, now you can open up Sinking Simulator 2. So moving on to the next problem, which is spawning ships. Now you should have two windows when you open up the Sinking Simulator 2 program. You have the one with the water where the ships are going to be, and you also have this menu window. So if you open up cleanly and there's nothing been spawned, what you want to do is go ahead and hit the spawn button in the opposite window, and down here, select your specific ship, whatever you want to spawn, let's say the real Titanic. Now, it will show itself on the other window so you know what you are spawning before you actually do so, and it'll be a little bit faded. You can click on the other window to drop it, and don't worry, the toolbar or the menu window will always stay on top. So you can click and drop it in. So if you want to spawn a different ship, here comes the problem. You can't actually, unless you mod, spawn two ships at once. For instance, I can't put a yacht down if there's already a boat, even if I've sunk it. The same thing will still happen. You're not allowed to spawn two in again, unless you mod. So what you have to do is click the delete button, and then you click anywhere on the window, and it will clear it out for a fresh start. Go back to your main window window, select spawn, and then change to whatever you want to destroy next. So that is how you spawn. It is a little bit complicated and hard to figure out at first if you don't know. Now this is for people who don't have any problems with it. If you do still have an issue with it, you might have to check this box down here, Legacy. Now the legacy is something that was actually just recently installed, it wasn't shown on the last video I did. To save all the tech talk, basically, legacy is going to allow all of you AMD users to be able to spawn the ships. This should be a simple fix for all of you. Now that's going to be a toggled button, so you can actually click all of the other modes or tools up here while that is still selected. So I'm sure that won't fix everybody's problem, but I think that'll clear it up for quite a lot of you. So moving on to the next subject, which is creating your own custom ships. This is the fun part of this game because you have limitless possibilities of ship creations. Now I created my own little ship, which I think looks pretty cool. It doesn't really have my particular palette on it, but it works. So let's go ahead and spawn it in. The IG floaty. As you can see here, it actually does a pretty decent job at floating, but it's pretty sexy. I think, I think it looks pretty good. We can sink it if we want to. Let's go ahead and pierce uh, through my head. <laughs> that actually might cause some issues here. My head fell off and forward. I've actually never seen that. That's interesting. But let's cut the boat in half and we'll watch it sink. It might take a long time to sink. It's a big boat. It's a big boat. But anyway, how I created this, let me go ahead and show you. I actually use Photoshop. Some of you guys can use Microsoft Paint. That's probably the easiest way to do it, but I'm familiar with Photoshop, so it's easier for me. So this is what it looks like, about 60 by 60 pixels. This is actually in the large version of the original. I actually do it pixel by pixel. So let's say this was one pixel, this was one pixel. You get the idea. When I was finished, I enlarged it so that way it's bigger when I put it into the game. Now the thing you have to remember is there's a certain palette that must be used in order to create ships in this game. Now you're actually given a file with the palette on it and it looks like this. Now this file is actually saved next to the other ships when you download the game. So that way you can use the palette. Here's what you can do. Now depending on the color that you give certain parts, it will become a different type of material. Here you have steel hull, the steel, iron hull, iron, and so on and so forth. Straight up black is going to be your rope, and then you have your black steel and carbon over here, which are different, very darker shades. 
You also have double bottom hull, I'm not sure the difference there, but basically you want the hull to be a certain color, which you can pretty much do any of these. And you got glass over here, and they will all obviously react differently when breaking or interacting with the water. But you have to use these specific colors, and if you're using Photoshop, the easiest thing to do when you're over here creating stuff, I actually use the pencil tool. So you can draw pixels like this, it's actually easier instead of using a brush. And what you do is when you go over to the palette, you can open up alongside, hold the Alt key if you're on PC. I actually have no idea what it is on Mac because I don't use Mac. Uh, and you can select the color, like so. And then you go back over to your other thing, and now you can draw that color. You want to make sure it's matched, so that's how you're going to do it perfectly without making a mistake. So you use all those colors and create your fancy little boat here, and you're going to want to save it as a .png file. And you want it to have the white background, you don't have to worry about transparency necessarily, you can get rid of that, but I've seen it cause problems with me trying to make a boat. So just keep the background white, it's easy to do that with layers in Photoshop, so that's what I recommend. Now again, you save it as a PNG into the folder where all the other ships are here, and when you load the game back up, wow, my boat hasn't even sunk, look at that. Let's delete it. And when you go back up, you want to hit Legacy if you need to, Spawn, and then I'm gonna hit select it here. IG floaty two is what I named it. So there you go, that's how you create custom ships. You have limitless possibilities. Again, the materials will be different depending on the color. Obviously my headset turned into rope. So guys, I hope that answers all of your questions about Sinking Simulator 2. I don't plan on making any other videos about this game. I pretty much covered everything there is. If you do have any more questions, I'd love to answer them in the comment section below. I'll try to put as many links as I can. Uh, in the description if you want to follow those and make sure you have everything you need So thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video You know what to do like share favorite and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos I love you all and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye. Bye